Hey, before we get into this video, make sure you have subscribed as well as turned on notifications for the channel to make sure you never miss a video. Alrighty, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Pixelmon uh, series, I guess I should say. It's the beginning of a brand new series that I think you are all going to love and enjoy. So make sure you do check out every single episode in this series once we get it going. Oh my goodness, Marvel Movies just joined us and he's Thanos. That's kind of scary. Oh my goodness. Anyways, we are on Play Pixelmon. The IP will be in the top right corner for you guys. Make sure you definitely come and join the server. Join me in this crazy adventure. They have this awesome new server that we're going to be joining today right now. So let's just jump straight into it. You know, we're going to go to uh, the Grand Compass and we're going to go to the Arivium server. It is a brand new crazy awesome story. So uh, we're going to go through that and you kind of get these cool rewards for every single day. So uh, for day one, we get a... Um, we get a whole 100 pixel bits, which is pretty cool, I guess. So, or a thousand, I guess you should say. So, we got our quest book here. Um, we got main towns, side towns, routes, and miscellaneous locations, and our stats. Okay. So, I guess we just start here and we kind of go on our mirror. Oh, we got some main quest tutorial. I guess we should uh, probably do that. So, we'll click on that. Oh, kiddo. I heard today you're starting your Pixelmon adventure. It feels like only yesterday I started my adventure throughout Erivium, and it was an amazing time. Now, don't get me wrong, it was a tough challenge, but you will learn to love it. Throughout Erivium, you will find quests. These come as main quests, monthly quests, weekly quests, oh my goodness, it's going too fast, and daily quests. You may find some unique quests other than these, but these will be the most common ones to speak for themselves. You will come across many gems along the way that you will have to challenge in order to collect all of the badges. Kind of like normal Pokemon, which is awesome. And as you discover new locations, it is important to unlock the warps to where you found in Flash Travel so that you can easily return there. That's true. Now to get started, do slash kit starter, then click the bottom sign to see how quests work. All right, so we're gonna do slash kit starter. Oh, awesome, all right, so that's not a bad little kit. And then we're gonna click right there. See, just like that, you've completed your first quest. Now don't worry, I'll give them back to you. I'm not that cruel. Oh to my own child. Oh, I will also give you something else in addition that every new trainer gets upon starting their journey. A starter token. Bring this up to Professor Aspen in the Pokemon lab and he's looking forward to meeting you. Now go on Tyler Boss 13, I'm proud of you. Hey, thanks. <laughs> Alrighty, we got some uh, running shoes, which is awesome. I think they're new running shoes, yeah. But they will wear out. Let's put the revive up there. That's our starter token. I usually do my Pokeballs like this. I don't know why. You don't have to have them on you, you know what I mean? I'm very particular on how my Pokemon stuff and my Pixelmon stuff is you know organized throughout my inventory so I'm assuming that's just like a house maybe you know what we should probably daily quest daily bread I mean should we probably go get this first up here I feel like that's you know we'll go back and do that daily quest but I feel like we should oh I feel like we should definitely get the starter token because uh, you know we should probably first steps I feel like we should probably get a Pokemon before we do anything right like I mean that makes the most amount of sense to me so uh, first steps level is this Ah, hello there, Tyler Boss 13. I have been waiting for you. It has come to my attention that you wish to begin your Pokemon adventure. Yep. Uh, I take it you further presented you with a starter token. It will get you one of the Pokemon in the room to my right. Now, I wish to ask you to ask you with exploring the region and collecting data and information for me while on your travels. Oh, before you go, I uh, I do need one small favor from you. Oh, one of my most experienced, I dare say, efficient staff members has disappeared after a trip to the lighthouse. If you could, could please go and check on him and let him know that I need his research very soon. It would be very grateful you did. Okay. So Alrighty, guys. So, our options from his right, which was over there, is either a Squirtle, a Trico, or a Fennekin. I don't know. That's a hard decision. You know, I love my Gen 1, my Gen 2, and my, was that Gen 5? I think five or six. I'm, I'm not sure. Either way, I chose Fennekin when I played Y. Chose Trico when I played Ruby. Squirtle, I'm sorry. I never did choose you. I always took Charmander. I'm sorry. You know what? For that reason, I think we're going to have to go with Squirtle. I don't know. Gen 1 has always had that special spot in my heart. You know what I mean? So I feel like that's the thing we're going to have to go with. So we had to go to the lighthouse, he said. I think that's where we're going to finish that quest. So we got to go and find a lighthouse, which it looks like the lighthouse would be over here. That's what I'm assuming that is. I'm assuming that's a lighthouse, seeing as there's a bunch of like lights up in the top. And it's also, you know, on its own little island and everything. That looks like another quest as well. Looks like there's a lot of quests, which is pretty good. We're also getting some Pidgeys, which is kind of cool. You're just like a level three dude. Eve. 
Okay, we're gonna take this guy on. You know, we'll, we'll get a little bit of money, a little bit of experience. Uh, there was a healer up there, so I'm not too worried about uh, our Squirtle fainting. And you know what? I'm gonna need your guys' help. So I'm gonna need you guys to go down in the comments down below and give me some names for Squirtle, because we're gonna start naming in this series. We're gonna name all our Pokemon with your guys' help from the comments down below. So I wanna make sure you guys comment down below. Tell me what names you think we should use. We got some, some Pidgeys. Hey, Pidgey, what, what the heck, man? There we go. All right. I'm gonna, I think this will get our Squirtle to level six at least, right? Should, I think, hopefully. Also, let me know what Pokemon you want to see me catch. I'm not sure what all Pokemon are on here in specific, but we'll go from there. All right, Marie, what's going on? You're uh, just a level four, okay. I'm assuming we gotta go through the lighthouse. I'm, I'm just assuming that just because this is where I was told to go. So I'm assuming at the top it'll probably be like the end quest thing. Oh, main quest, first steps. Oh, well, hello there. Come and enjoy the video as well. Oh no, I'm looking for one of the staff members of the lab. The professor sent me. My father really doesn't let me do all my own research sometimes. The name's Oliver, by the way. Oh, sorry, the professor never mentioned you were his son. He says that he requests the data that you have collected. Ah, of course. I'll be back down soon. I just find it far more peaceful up here than at the lab. I like working alone sometimes. Okay, it was nice meeting you, Oliver. I hope to see you again sometime soon. Your father was nice enough to allow me to start my Pixelmon journey today. That makes you Tyler Boss 13. Then my father mentioned you would be starting soon. I will be going on my journey soon. So maybe I'll see each other around and have a bit of a friendly competition. That would be nice. I'll see you around. One more thing. Please take this gem to Sophia outside of the lab. It would be very useful for me. Okay. So we have to go back to the lab to meet Sophia. I think we can do this without uh, dying. Yep. Very good. All right, we got to go meet Sophia in front of the lab. This is quite a long quest, but you know what? That's all right. We like those long quests. It kind of kind of gives us something to do. And there's a lot of quests on this like little starter island because I'm assuming this is just a starter island. I'm assuming there's a crazy huge map, which will be awesome. So let's go bring this to Sophia. I'm assuming that's Sophia right there in front of the... Maybe. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Uh... Ah, you must put Professor Aspen has been waiting for your arrival. Don't worry, he's just ahead of his office. Go speak, talk to him. Uh, come talk to me when you finish speaking with him. Okay. That I can do. Ah, I have been waiting for you. Oh gosh, I've done it like six times. He seemed quite energetic when I spoke with him. He is also taking me to give you this crystal. Whoa, I've never seen a gem quite like this before. Would you be able to travel to Jettis Leaf and give this to our scientist there? Okay, so I gotta go to Jade Leaf, all right. I would, but the only issue is that I don't know where to get there. I've never actually been there before. Oh, okay. That's not a problem. I'll just give you the money needed to ride the air balloon there. Just make sure that you get Crystal to our scientist. He is usually around the Pokemart. Okay, so we are going on the hot air balloon over there, but there is other quests that I kind of want to do before we do that. I feel like, that you know, that seems like the smart thing because there was like a daily quest, the daily bread one over there. I feel like we should go do that as well as... There was a couple other ones I want to get done, so I think we're going to do that, you know, real quick. So let's go and do that real, real quick. All right, let's do this daily bread. All right, let's click to start. Let's, uh, Sergeant Baker. Hey there, youngin. I really needed to finish baking this bread for my customer. Head out to the back and gather three wheat for me. Come back once you're done and I will reward you. Oh, okay. That's pretty, pretty simple. To, oh, oh, that was only one wheat. Is that, I don't know if that was enough, but I mean, ooh, yikes. Okay, we uh, we only get one wheat per 24 hours or, oh wait, no, there's multiple signs too. So that means there's a uh, third. Aha, we figured it out. Not too hard. I like it. Perfect. All right, let's, uh, Give him the wheat so he can make his bread. Boom, whoa. All right, I'll take it. Some healing items. Never know when you could use some good healing items for our good old Squirtle. Squirtle, Squirtle. Now let's go check this house up over here because you never know if there's gonna be more quests, right? You know, we should do all the quests that there is in this area if there is another one up here. Weekly quest, the dog's out. Would you mind helping me, helping a neighbor out? Sure, what do you need help with? Well, you see, 
I like having my Pokemon out of their Pokeballs most of the time so they can be free. And it seems my Growlithe has run off on me. I know that. When he, we go out, he likes to go around the ba beach area. That's all I know. Okay. I'm assuming I gotta go find a Growlithe. I have no idea where that'll be though. I mean, I'm assuming that there's like, you know, fences that kind of mark it off. So we gotta go find a Growlithe. And if he likes the beach area, I mean, this is kind of like all beach, unless they mean like beach over by the lighthouse. That could be a possibility, but he, uh, nah, he's hiding over here. Look at that little Growlithe. What are you doing, buddy? Oh, we got Laura's Growlithe in our hand. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Growlithe, growl. All right, Growlithe, you gotta go back, man. You're, you're, Laura needs you, all right? I'm sorry, but, but she does. She just needs her Growlithe back. She misses you. You're like a pet dog to her. Boom. Ah, is this your Growlithe? I found him near the beach, just like you said. Yes, that's him. Gets out quite a lot, but he doesn't go too far. Thank you for helping. No problem. If you ever need help again, just let me know. Thank you again. Here for your troubles. A few Pokeballs that I can spare. Awesome. We got some more Ultra Balls and Great Balls. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Now, I did see before we got on the hot air balloon that there was a cave over there. And there was also a quest over at the lighthouse. So, we're going to go check those out. See what there is. Also, there's a couple more trainers right down. There's one down there. Oh, we're fighting a Mareep. Alrighty. See you later, Mareep. We're going to take you on real quick. Boom, boom. Alright, so we're going to take on this guy. Apparently, we can only battle them once a day. I don't know if that's in, like, within a 24-hour period or within, like, you know... 24 hour period but <laughs> either way we are going to challenge this guy I mean not a huge deal I mean if it's a Minecraft day that'd be awesome but I'm going to assume it's not also we should probably use some heals oh wait what no oops HP and restore potion on the squirtle all right there we go having to use a potion in such a weak fight but you know this guy doesn't like to take damage from Squirtle unfortunately which makes it a little hard so we're gonna have to just quickly quickly use a quick potion you know not a huge deal you know we got we got a few I'm not huge on using heals anyway so I'm sure I'm sure we'll get some more if we get them from you know doing a daily quest I'm sure we'll get some more from daily quests and we should finish them off with this tackle right here perfect all right per oh and then he, he whips out the second he has more than one that's a bit of a yikes not gonna lie that's uh kind of sucked but uh oh well <laughs> but we got water gun now so that's like a two hit you know what i mean like that's 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 game over for you sorry dude all right copper shard we got one but unfortunately we cannot get from you Oh, you can just hit the... I mean, that, that, that might be a little broken, but, um... What did we just get? I think we got some... Two Ultra Balls. Decent. All right. Decent, decent. All right, what do you got? Oh, I don't like Hone Edge, personally. Not my favorite Pokemon. You know, that's all right, though. We're going to just quickly take this guy out. He's level four. We'll get that experience. Boom. Perfect. Oh, Pat Rat, what do you want? What's up? What's up, Pat Rat? All right, now, was there a quest over here? Or was it just a trainer? Just a trainer. All righty, I figured it might have been. I know it's a water type. I'm using water gun, but I figure water gun will gosh, probably do more than tackle would. Oh, maybe not. Never mind. Tackle does look double the amount. My bad. My bad. Sometimes tackle doesn't do as much as a water gun for some weird reason. But, hey, we just got a little bit of money, and uh, we've taken out every single trainer here. So I figured, let's go heal real quick, and then we'll jump on the hot air balloon. Alrighty, so this guy's a level 1. Does he actually have a Pokemon, is uh, my real question here. Oh. Oh, he does. He has a Rattata. Lol. Okay, we're going to take out his Rattata. But this is the guy that has the hot air balloon, so, you know, hopefully he's alright to, you know main quest all right nice to see you've decided to take up the idea of traveling across the region tyler boss 13 i've wanted to for a while now just happens i've been given the opportunity to do so now 
Um, well, if you're going to start a new journey, how about we have our battle and see how things go? Well, if you're up to from a battle, nothing better than a good old friendly rivalry. Ah, okay, you're on. Okay, he's now level 6. Good thing we're at level 9. Got a Trico. That, unfortunately, is not the best, because he's going to kind of... Uh, he's going to do some good damage there. Not Pokeballs, my bad. My bad. Uh, yikes. Unfortunately, him being a Trico, this is going to hurt. This is genuinely going to hurt. Yep, I figured as much. This is not good. Not good. Not good at all. All right, we've got a good amount of heals. He's going to keep using that, though. Okay. And he's good. it's absorbed, too, so it sucks because he keeps healing himself. I mean, absorb has, like, what, 20 as well? So... I don't want to lose to our rival, but we might end up losing to our rival if he keeps using Absorb. He's going to destroy me every single time. I'm never going to get anywhere. See? Oh, no. We might lose this battle. We might lose this battle. Yep. Well, Oliver, wait it out. Dang. Well, then, that kind of sucks. Oh, well, we'll heal up, and I guess we'll have to... Try it again. We'll have to just go and try again. But that's all right, you know. Not a big deal. Trying again. Maybe we can't, and we might have to come back next episode after I train up a little bit. Who knows? I don't. I don't know. Maybe we'll have to get another Pokemon before we try and challenge him. I'm not quite sure. Oh, we're gonna have to go through this text again, and then we'll uh, we'll be able to fight him again. Okay. Alrighty. What do you guys think? They're gonna be, uh, can we do this? I'm not even sure if we can, honestly. This absorb is gonna kill us. Like, we're not doing anything here. We also, oh, keep hitting, I keep hitting that. We don't even have, like, anything. Honestly, unfortunately, I, I think, I think we're gonna have to come back next episode gonna have to get some more pokemon and train up a little bit more so we can actually defeat oliver he's now he's now beat us twice with that trico what a darn what a darn guy eh? but you know what guys i think i'm gonna end off the episode there we'll be back in a couple days probably like a few days with episode two so stay tuned for that and make sure you do join the ip in the top right corner come join me it's a lot of fun and until the next one guys have a good day